Oddly enough, apparently no one has ever taught little children how to think. Partly as a result, few people are really excellent at thinking, just as few people are especially good at playing the piano or running with a football or working out very difficult mathematical problems. Each of us is provided with a brain, but few people are given any instruction in how to use the thinking or reasoning parts of their brains. What I'm trying to do is to teach you about your own wonderful brain and how to use it. If you use it as wisely as possible, in the long run your life will very probably be happier, you'll get along better with other people, and life will be less difficult for you than it may sometimes seem now. his level. But if you show him good example, you may lift him to your level. <laughs> Remember, any dumbbell can pick up a stick and hit somebody else over the head with it. <laughs> Remember, any dumbbell can pick up a stick and hit somebody else over the head with it. But a person who knows how to think a person who will use his intelligence will usually act in a more human way. Now, the master of your emotions, I to see that the cortex is the voice, so that you can become the master of your emotions and not let your emotions become the master of you. enjoy that at all. Without a limbic system, you wouldn't enjoy that at all. Without a without a limbic system, you wouldn't enjoy that at all. And you, and you wouldn't feel good about eating ice cream or going on a picnic either. It's a good thing we all have limbic systems in our brains. The, the fourth part of the brain is the one you and I are most interested in now, because up to now all the brain functions we've been talking about are pretty much the same as for animals. You see, dogs and cats and monkeys and giraffes too can all see and hear and smell and run and jump and play and get frightened and have a good time. But the fourth part of the brain, the cortex, the cortex, the cortex, the cortex, is 
something very special to man. Part of the cerebrum, it's just a thin, wrinkled, gray covering that fits over the top of the brain. And it's the part we think of. Everything in the world that you can see and touch really exists. There are other things you can talk about but can never touch or see. Things like love, freedom, beauty, or democracy, or fear, or happiness. You can never hold the pound of freedom in your hand. You can't reach out and touch happiness. So these words are called abstract. Well, ab oh, abstract. Abstract. Ab ab abstract. 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 Words. The abstract. Word. Well, words. They're perfectly good words, and they usually refer to ideas that are important. Freedom is important, for instance. But you can't pick up a box full of freedom, can you? So that's another reason. Another good way. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Had there been an actual emergency, your local station, in conjunction with the relevant federal authorities, would have broadcast the following. 